tragic deaths, mysterious disappearances, and unexplainable phenomenon, the realm of unsolved mysteries can prove irresistible, especially in the internet age. Now amateur sleuths can pore over the evidence on blogs, discuss their outlandish theory in message boards, and occasionally even stumble on the solutions to some of these seemingly unsolvable puzzles. But despite the aid of the internet and the interest of thousands of amateur detectives, the weirdest unsolved mysteries remain unsolved to this day. The 1987 deaths of Don Henry and Kevin Ives seemed at first glance to be a simple accident, but plenty of questions arose in the aftermath of the incident, and their deaths remain unsolved to this day. On August 23, 1987, a train conductor traveling through Arkansas called in to report a disturbing incident. As his train was barreling down the tracks, he noticed something laying on the tracks up ahead. He was too close and going too fast to stop the train in time, and he ran over what turned out to be two bodies. The medical examiner ruled the deaths accidental, claiming that the two men had smoked too much cannabis and fallen asleep on the train tracks, but that didn't sit right with the conductor. He clearly recalled seeing that the two bodies were tied to the tracks as the train approached. Rumors quickly spread that the two men had unwittingly stumbled upon an illicit drug drop and had been killed to protect those involved, though no one was ever charged. Years later, WWE superstar Billy Jack Haynes would claim to have been hired by a local politician to run security for that very drug drop, and he said he witnessed the murders of Henry and Ives. Despite his claim, no further investigations were undertaken, and the case remains unsolved to this day. We may never know who is responsible for the mysterious deaths of Henry and Ives, but the untimely death of Kathy Hobbs is all the more chilling and mysterious for the fact that she apparently saw it coming. As a teen, young Kathy began to experience strange premonitions that foreshadowed her own death. She was so convinced that she would die before she reached the age of 16 that she developed a severe case of agoraphobia and refused to leave the house. After years of isolation and paranoia, Kathy celebrated her sweet 16 and believed that the curse had been lifted. She began venturing outside of the house once again. Tragically, just three months after her 16th birthday in 1987, while walking home from the bookstore with a new paperback novel under her arm, Kathy was attacked, beaten, and left for dead with blunt force trauma to the head. In 1989, a man named Michael Lee Lockhart was charged and convicted for her murder, but he never confessed to the killing, and many question whether he's truly guilty. His conviction also doesn't explain how Kathy foresaw her own demise. Kathy's tragic death may have been foretold, but the mysterious disappearance of Elisa Lamb is something no one saw coming. In 2013, guests at the Cecil Hotel in Los Angeles complained that the hotel's drinking water had a foul smell and taste to it. The hotel staff investigated, and what they found was truly horrifying. Inside one of the hotel's enormous rooftop water tanks, they found the body of one of the hotel's guests, 21-year-old Elisa Lamb, floating lifelessly inside the tank. It seemed impossible that the diminutive girl had climbed all the way to the top of the tank, opened its heavy metal door, and willingly jumped into the dark tank especially since the tank's door was locked from the outside. Things got even weirder when the staff reviewed the security footage from the night Elisa disappeared. She was caught on camera standing in the elevator, looking around wildly as if someone in the hallway was pursuing her. That was the last time anyone saw Elisa Lamb alive, and to this day no one knows how she ended up floating in that water tank. It's always disturbing to hear about a mysterious death or disappearance, but when Mother Nature is involved, things can get truly terrifying. In January 1959, a group of Soviet students from the Ural Polytechnic Institute set off on what was supposed to be a 16-day hiking expedition. All nine of the students were highly experienced mountaineers under the leadership of a fifth-year student and expert guide, Igor Dyatlov. Little did they know that this would be their last trip into the wilderness. When the group failed to check in via telegram from their final destination, rescue efforts were dispatched nearly two weeks after their planned return. What the rescuers found would haunt them for years and spawn one of the most enduring mysteries of the modern age. After six days of searching, rescuers stumbled upon the remains of the students' abandoned camp. Their large canvas tent had partially collapsed and appeared to have been sliced open from the inside, but there was no sign of the students nearby. The next day, two bodies were found nearly a mile away, huddled naked around the remnants of a campfire. Three more bodies were dug out from the snow in the following days, and the bodies of the rest of the students were found in May once the snow had melted. An early Soviet investigation ruled that the accident was the result of the spontaneous power of nature, and officials kept the details of the investigation classified for decades. 
Unsurprisingly, this ruling proved unsatisfactory to many, and over the years more than 75 alternate theories were put forth, covering everything from an attack by local tribes to alien abduction. One of the most chilling theories is that the entire site was staged to cover up an accident while testing a new top-secret weapon. None of these theories fully explain why a group of highly experienced mountaineers would willingly leave their tent and expose themselves to the harsh elements, why many of the bodies were found stripped naked in the brutal Russian winter, or how many of the students were found with broken bones and head injuries. Given the decades that have passed since the incident and the notorious secrecy of the Soviets, it's unlikely that we'll ever find the truth of what really happened in the Dyatlov Pass incident. The possibility of a new top-secret weapon is at the heart of another unsolved mystery too, this one much more recent and foreboding. In 2016, a CIA officer checked into the American Embassy's health office in Havana, Cuba, complaining of nausea, dizziness, and a severe headache. Within days, two more CIA officers reported the exact same strange symptoms, stumping embassy health officials. By the end of 2018, 26 Americans and 14 Canadians in Cuba had experienced the mysterious illness, which doctors diagnosed as concussion-like symptoms, though none of the afflicted showed any other signs of having sustained a concussion. They did all share one thing in common, though. Each victim claimed that the onset of their symptoms was triggered by a strange high-pitched noise they'd heard immediately before. Officials were stumped. They knew of nothing that could make a sound that would cause such symptoms. Was it some kind of new weapon? The Cubans denied any involvement, and the FBI found no evidence that such a weapon existed. Some scientists who've listened to recordings of the noises that some victims had made thought it sounded like the mating calls of crickets. But how could that cause such disorienting symptoms? Still, others thought that it was just the Cuban heat. But that didn't explain what happened next in China. In May 2018, an American working at the consulate in Gongzhou was diagnosed with the same mysterious illness that had struck in Cuba. Unexplained nausea, dizziness, and a blinding headache brought on by a strange high-pitched sound. Within months, 15 other Americans were evacuated from China, along with nearly 60% of the Americans working in Cuba. There's still no official explanation for these bizarre symptoms. Unsolved mysteries are certainly not a strictly modern phenomenon. This perplexing 19th century mystery has remained unsolved for nearly 150 years. On December 4, 1872, the British-American ship the Mary Celeste was found abandoned and adrift in the midst of the Atlantic Ocean. The ship was seaworthy, her cargo was fully intact, but there was not a soul on board alive or dead. The ship had set sail from New York and was headed for Genoa, Italy. Her seven crewmen had been under the leadership of Captain Briggs, who had brought his wife and two-year-old daughter along for the trip. They had supplies enough for a six-month voyage and luxurious accommodations for the captain's family, including a sewing machine and an upright piano. When the ship was discovered adrift in the Atlantic, everything on board was untouched. The only thing missing from the ship was the lifeboat, which appeared to have been boarded and lowered in an orderly fashion. The last entry from the ship's log revealed nothing unusual that could explain the disappearance of the ship's entire crew and passengers. Many theories have been floated in the years and decades since the disappearance of the ship. Some think the crew must have mutinied against the captain, while others blame pirates, though neither theory explains why nothing was missing from the ship. Still, others believe that the crew was fleeing an attack by a giant octopus, a whale, or even a sea monster. Yet the ship was fully intact with no signs of damage. At least one scientist seems to think that the crew took to the lifeboat because they were fleeing a fire caused by fumes from some alcohol among the ship's cargo, which could have burned without leaving any scorch marks. In reality, we'll never know the true reason why ten souls abandoned the safety of their ship for dangers of the open ocean, since none of them were ever heard from again and no sign of their boat or bodies was ever found. Most unsolved mysteries involve the mysterious death or disappearance of a person, but the mysterious dog suicides of Scotland proved that the realm of the unexplained is not a uniquely human phenomenon. It was a miracle she survived, recalled Lottie McKinnon, thinking of the day years ago when she was walking her border collie over the Overton Bridge, a centuries-old Gothic stone bridge in Dumbarton, Scotland. The locals have their own name for the bridge. They call it Dog Suicide Bridge. Since the 1950s, hundreds of Scots like Lottie have claimed that their dogs were suddenly compelled to leap over the side of the bridge, many tragically falling to their deaths on the jagged rocks in the gorge below. On that day that Lottie's dog Bonnie took the leap, she clearly recalls how Bonnie started acting strangely as soon as they approached the bridge. Bonnie froze at first before suddenly running across the bridge, jumping up onto the parapet and leaping over the edge. It all happened so fast that Lottie barely had time to react, but she remembers that Bonnie seemed to be compelled to jump by something unseen. 
Luckily, when Lottie made the treacherous climb down the banks into the gorge, she found Bonnie lying on the rocks, whimpering but alive. Not all dogs that run afoul of the Overton Bridge are so lucky. Locals say that as many as 300 dogs have leapt from the bridge in the last 70 years, and that at least 50 dogs have died. Were these dogs simply enticed by the smells of the animals living in the gorge below, or was something more sinister at work? Something convincing the dogs to take their own lives? Locals are convinced that something paranormal haunts the bridge, possibly the infamous White Lady of Overton. The widow of a wealthy landowner is frequently sighted walking the grounds and standing in the windows of Overton Manor, the historic property where the bridge is located. The mystery of Dog Suicide Bridge remains unsolved and locals are careful to keep their dogs on a tight leash when walking near the bridge. The world of unsolved mysteries can be an unending rabbit hole, and they serve to remind us that there's more that we don't know about our world than what we can know for sure. We might never have the answers to these weirdest unsolved mysteries, but that's half the fun, isn't it? If you want more mysteries, we've got you covered. Make sure and check out our other videos, like this video called Mystery Space Events That Astronomers Can't Explain. Or you might like this other video.